Afternoon everybody. Somebody asked me in the comments uh, what this mix seg like is in can signals and I hadn't actually plugged it into can network just as yet. It's only in this thing about a week now. And I've just been messing about with it and doing comparisons and uh, stuff like that. There's no presets on it like you would get in the wee Pico Automotive uh, or nothing like that. So uh, it does take a wee minute or two to get used to but it's not too bad. It's f pretty user friendly. Uh, you can jump about the settings all in real time so uh, you can you can uh, adjust it very very easily. Anyway, um, I've got the wee Pico two thousand series here. Uh, we home gamer home starter Pico, which is great job. Uh, a lot of guys uh, that subscribe to my channel have one and they use it. And I've got this breakout box. It's connected in the DLC there. Uh, so we'll have 4mm bananas plugged into the can high, can low, and then the two negative there, uh, piggyback on the signal, the wee LEDs. And at the minute, our test subject here, the Alfa Romeo, is uh, having a wee sleep. So uh, if we just put the key in the ignition. And there's the, uh, the breakout box. Flickering away there uh, with the can high and can low. So that's her up and running. So we're connected into the Pico and I'll get, to, get rid of the glare for you guys. So there's our wee light show there. So let's switch his leg on the Pico. So we'll have it at the uh, 200 microseconds per division, 300 kiloseconds capture, but I have the trigger on repeat, which is a handy wee feature. Let's be people. So we change that to uh, single. That will just get me a screenshot of it there. So that's what it looks like in the Pico, and as we know, what you're looking for, we can is the low you want it to be a mirror image, exact mirror image of the high, which it is. So it looks good. So there's our wee light, there's our wee light show there. Two uh, green ones for the ground and the signal ground. 12.2 volts because the ignition's on, voltage just dropped slightly. Uh, but we'll not take too long at this. So what will do is I'll put you in for email. <laughs> And we'll swap the leads over on the mix egg. Work me guys, we second. It's set in the exact same settings as the uh, Pico at 200 microseconds. And let's see what it shows. So, there we have that. So just stop it for a moment and we can change the time base to zoom in and move it about. Just one touch. Right. The only thing I noticed with this mix egg is that there is actually settings on it for a can. So if we go into this, there is an S1 and an S2. So that's for Can and Lin, Yard, don't know what it is, and Channel 1, Channel 2. Now, uh, let me see. So you can take different sample ratings of uh, so many kilobits a second and stuff like that. Baud rates, this is an S2 button. Is, you can set it to the can low then, so however this particular one, if we go out of that and into the settings and hit information. So these ones here are
these ones all on this side are what this mixig uh, isn't going to run. So there's an automotive software version for this. This is a TO1104. Uh, there's one called an ATO, which is an automotive one, and it just has a whole load of presets in it for uh, automotive testing, which would be quite handy. Now, I've never seen it up and run. If you type it into the internet, it's, it's, it's very, very little results come up. And there's your can and, and all that there. Right. I know that see to open up all those special functions so you can decode your can and Lin. You need to buy this license. So I've seen it. Uh, there's a company, Teltonic, who sell these things in the UK. And uh, the license keys with 30 quid. So and they just send you a license key. You take the license key in and bang it in there and it opens the SP1 and 2 thing up so you can decode uh, your CAN messages. And then this side here is what all uh, it, it, it will do, uh, what all is in it. So that's the way it came to me with these in it. I didn't put anything else extra in it. But if you're into decoding CAN, you can actually uh, North 30 quid you can buy out license key automotive one I've never I haven't been able to find a, a license key for sale or to change the off the software in this thing so that it's uh it changes it into an ATO scope and uh, uh, I've only uh, seen it for sale it's very expensive it's uh, a few hundred quid more than the standard TO1104 but uh, I tried to find to see if it was uh pretty cheap and you could just stick the license key in but I've yet to find that maybe somebody else knows it's watching uh, stick it in the comments or mix it themselves I know they use they search YouTube videos with the keywords so that's what's in that that bit there is what's not in it that bit is in it however that's for decoding can you can still use uh, yeah you can still get a trace there anyway as you can see so there we go. Uh, I'll put it 50 microseconds, 200 microseconds. That's what was uh, on the Pico. So it was. It wasn't 200 milliseconds, was it? It's that far in that. So, there we go guys, that's a can on a mix egg, and a Pico at 2000 as well. So, I hope you found it interesting, okay, all the best now, thanks very much for watching, bye bye now.